What's up YouTube? Christine with Gage World Training here and it is day 14 of the fall challenge. We are headed into phase two. So let's get started. All right guys, so I finished my fasted cardio, took the puppy. We did about 4,000 steps together. This morning, we did a good job. Yes, we did. But something new is happening, and that is we are about to enter phase two of the fall challenge. So what does that mean? The way I set up this challenge is it's a six week challenge, and every two weeks the macros change. A lot of people ask me, Christine, why do you do it that way? Well, I do it this way to preemptively prevent you from plateauing. Six weeks is a long enough time to see good results, but you want to make sure that you don't plateau. And as a result, that is why I tweak the macros. So what I'm gonna be doing, you guys, is I am going to be doing some food prep. I'm gonna be walking you guys through what I'm gonna be cooking, but my macros are going to be changing. I have some new goals, which is going to accelerate my progress, which I'm excited about. I've done really well for the first two weeks, just on track and really, on track mentally, which is the biggest piece. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making, gonna just show you guys you know, how this week goes, and we'll get to it. So we are starting off with breakfast, where I'm actually taking some steak I had for dinner last night, the leftovers, and I have 4.7 ounces of steak where I trimmed off all visible fat, sauteing it with 5.6 ounces ooh, of zucchini. All right, so here's the whole skillet of what my meal looks like. And this is three ounces of brown rice. And the biggest thing when you're following a macros plan is weighing out your portions because if I was just adding rice, I would have added way more than three ounces of rice. So my biggest struggle, honestly, you guys, is weighing out the rice. Once I do that, I'm fine and I'm on track. And that's why I add things like zucchini because it adds a lot of volume without adding a lot of carbs. But... I can easily overshoot my carbs if I don't weigh them out. But this is gonna be my breakfast, and I'll keep you guys posted on what I eat throughout the day. Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, day 15 of the fall challenge. I'm about to do some cardio here. I am meal prepping in the background. I'll show you guys what's happening over there. And I wanted to show you guys, yes, I am that person. It is October, what's today? It's October something, but yes, I am putting on Christmas socks. I just got a pack of these Christmas socks from TJ Maxx, they make me happy. Don't judge, don't judge. But I'm about to do some facet cardio here on the treadmill. And uh, look at this, you see this? See this puppy right here? He's looking at his leash, making me feel guilty. But <laughs> every time I do cardio on the treadmill, I feel guilty because my dogs look at me. They're like, mom, what's happening? But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, so. Now this puppy, this is Boss. He's looking for his breakfast, boo boo. You hungry? You want breakfast? Puppy, you want breakfast? All right, come here. Come here, sit. Good boy, high five. Good boy, speak. Good boy, down. Good down, all the way down. Good boy, up. Puppy, up, up, up. Good boy. <laughs> sit, sit. Good boy, high five. Good boy, all right. All right, so I'm being super lazy with my breakfast. I don't wanna get an extra dish dirty, so I literally put my mini skillet directly on my scale. I'm gonna weigh out my egg whites directly on here so I have less dishes to wash. All right, so this is what six ounces of liquid egg whites look like. It says 5.9, but I put a little splash of it before it registered, so we're gonna assume this is six ounces. Now, if you're ever low on protein, egg whites are probably gonna be one of the best things you could possibly do because it is five protein, there is zero fat, and there are zero carbs. So this is always going to be one of the best possible protein sources if you need help hitting those protein macros. All right, so I just microwaved three ounces of brown rice, three ounces of zucchini. I scrambled my eggs here, and guys, I know this doesn't look insanely appetizing, but it's simple, it's clean, it works. I'm gonna add some hot sauce to it. It's my macros. 
and I'm just in this mode where all I need is convenience and nothing else. And I cooked two pieces of bacon earlier, so boom, boom, boom. All right, so here's what it's looking like. Again, I just put some cayenne and some chili lime seasoning. There's brown rice under there. There's zucchini in there. There's bacon there. I just need convenience right now, and this is what it's looking like. All right, guys, so now I'm making a small batch of chicken tikka masala here on the stovetop. And what I first did was I deboned some chicken thighs. I'm a big fan of taking the bones out. Now, I've showed you guys how to make this before in the Instant Pot, but tonight I'm doing it in the skillet just to make it simple and a smaller batch. So I'm gonna chop up the chicken, I'm gonna saute it in some garlic. You can also use onions and ginger, but I'm gonna do garlic and ginger. I'm not a fan of onions, but I'm gonna be adding turmeric, cumin, curry, and a bunch of other spices, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so you can see I have some garlic and ginger sauteing. You can have, you can add onions, but I, I'm not a huge onion person, so I left them out. Um, I took all of the chicken and I chopped it up. It has been deboned. I'm gonna add this to the skillet. I'm going to add the seasonings. Then I'm going to add the coconut milk and tomatoes. All right, so this is what it's looking like. I turned the heat up and I sprinkled a combination of turmeric, some black pepper. I put some sea salt on there, some curry, and some coriander. You can add bay leaves. There's lots of things you can add to it. These are the seasonings I added. I'm gonna let it cook some more before I add the coconut milk and tomatoes. These are two things I'm going to be adding. I'm gonna be adding a can of unsweetened coconut milk, as well as some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Now this is a full fat coconut milk. I'm gonna integrate this into the macros and I do so on my fitness pal. I'll show you guys how that's done. So I just added the coconut milk and you can see that there's some big clumps of the coconut cream from the coconut milk and there was a lot of like water, a lot of watery part. And that tends to happen inside where like it'll kind of separate, face separate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like cook it down so that way this is fully integrated, but then I'm gonna let it reduce so that way some of these extra liquids are cooked off so that the sauce gets thickened. So I just dumped the entire can of the fire roasted diced tomatoes and I'm gonna have to, you know, let it work through, let it simmer, let a lot of this stuff cook cook down, but this is what it's looking like in process. So you can see I have it boiling. I'm actually going to turn it down to let it simmer. And I do this last step here when I make it on the stove where I adjust the flavor by tweaking it between a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of hot pepper, some cayenne. So I kind of tweak it according to my palate. You guys can adjust as you wish, but I strongly recommend that you do a step where you tweak the flavor profile with some lime or lemon with a little bit of salt and some hot pepper because it's just going to enhance the flavor for you. But I'm going to let this cook down some more and then I'm going to serve it over rice and top it with some cilantro and the side of veggies. All right, you guys, here is the finished dish. It's been cooking down and this is by far one of my favorite favorite dishes. You guys have seen me make chicken adobo before, but this is something I can make over and over again. It's just so tasty and so flavorful. I have this in the instant pot shred and other recipes, but essentially, like I said, I showed you guys all the ingredients of what I put in it, and it is just fantastic. Portion it out, serve it with some rice and veggies, and you are good to go. So enjoy, you guys. So I'm about to have dinner. I chopped up 5.6 ounces of zucchini, and this is actually 2.5 ounces brown rice. I'm gonna put this in the microwave, and then I'm going to serve my chicken tikka masala on top of this. You can add spinach, you can do all kinds of things, but these are the ingredients I have at the time. So this is what it looks like, you guys. I'm just so excited to eat this. This is my chicken tikka masala. And I believe I have it in my fitness pal. If you just type in GGT, chicken tikka masala, it's in there. But this is what I'm enjoying for dinner. Happy day 15, friends. What is up, YouTube? Happy day 16 of the fall challenge. 
up. All I wanna do is stay in bed, but it is time to get this day moving, about to make the coffee, about to get the cardio in, about to just start the day. So I will talk to you guys later, let you guys know how it's going, but I'm still here, I'm still focused, still got these goals, still got these macros, and I think a big part of it is just making sure when you get up in the morning that you still have your intention straight, and I do. So let's have a great day 16, guys. Good morning, YouTube. It is day 17. I'm not here for it today. I am tired. I feel like I'm getting sick. I weighed myself this morning and I'm up in weight. I weigh 170 today. I haven't been like overeating or anything, but who knows? So I'm about to drink my water. I'm about to make some coffee. I'm about to help on that treadmill and keep going, even though I don't feel good today, even though I don't feel like it. So I just wanted to be very real that every day isn't butterflies and rainbows and progress. Some days you feel like crap. Some days your weight is up. And mm, you know what we do? We push forward anyway. All right, guys, finish the cardio. Basic AF breakfast. I'm in a rush. I'm about to jump into my team meeting, my gauge girl team meeting. I did some scrambled egg whites. Six ounces of scrambled egg whites, three ounces of white rice, two slices of bacon. Yes, there's no veggies in it right now because I'm out. I'm gonna Instacart some veggies later today, but this is what I'm eating. About to walk into my team meeting via Zoom in a few moments. All right guys, so I just made myself some tea and I added the My Soul CBD watermelon mint drops to my green tea. My throat's been sore and it really helps me with my anxiety, which I shared about in my last video. But I also wanted to show you I'm making my meal here. I have already weighed out uh, 2.5 ounces of brown rice, seven ounces of zucchini. I'm going higher in the zucchini because I like more volume and I'm going to be reheating, let me show you guys here my chicken tikka masala that I made the other night so you can see what it looks like here. I'm gonna add it to my plate and microwave it and be about my day. So here is what my lunch is looking like. It is absolutely delicious, amazing. I'm so excited to dig right in. I think this puppy's interested in what's happening over here too. Isn't that right, Cash? That's what mommy's eating. That's mommy's lunch. All right, you guys, so I'm doing another mini meal prep here. I have some delicata squash. I sliced them in half. I'm about to scoop the seeds out and you can actually eat this squash with the skin on. I'm going to slice it and season it and oven roast it. I like this because it is so delicious and it is very low in carbohydrates. So I can have a lot more of these and have more volume of food while being nice and full. So here is what the squash looks like after I took the seeds out. I'm going to roast them just like this and eat the skin with it on. So here is what my oven roasted delicata squash looks like after, ooh, see it's steaming up here. After I oven roasted it, I set it to broil just to crisp it up, but here's what we're working with. I'll show you the serving size getting steamy but this is so delicious and I seasoned it with Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning so this is what's making it super delicious and I am officially out of seasoning so I gotta get some more all right you guys so earlier this week I made a big batch of my gauge girl Cuban beef picadillo so I reheated some of that and this is four ounces of my baked delicata squash this is what I'm about to have for my lunch. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Welcome to day 18. And you can tell today I am sick. Not sure what's happening. If you guys were in my weekly Zoom webinar last night, you guys knew I told you guys about it, but I didn't lift yesterday. I did my cardio. I still hit my macros, but I am not feeling 100%. I don't know where this came from out of nowhere. 
But that being said, I'm still gonna do my best to stick to my macros. My appetite is like a little bit less today. So I'm gonna just do the best I can. I'm gonna stay hydrated and I'm gonna keep you guys posted about how things go. But again, it is day 18 and we are trucking along over here. So I'll keep you guys posted on how I eat today. Keep you guys posted on the status. All right, so this is my first meal of the day. I'm again, heating up leftovers. It is my chicken tikka masala. As the serving is seven and a half ounces over some zucchini and some brown rice. So it's four ounces of zucchini and today I'm using three ounces of brown rice. So this is meal one. All right, YouTube. So I've had a pretty busy day today. I had a lot of things going on. I ended up eating lunch out. I had, I had an avocado toast. It was one piece of toast, avocado. I posted it here on my Instagram um, just so you guys can see what that is. Track that in my macros. And then this afternoon, I door dashed a Caesar salad. Now I'm actually making some meatballs. So, so let me show you what, are, what I used for my meatballs. I'm gonna serve it over some spaghetti squash just for a light dinner. I have my meatballs here going in the oven. I used basil, I used oregano, two of my favorite. I did crack an egg in my meatballs. I used black pepper, some kosher salt. But I'm about to oven roast them, bake them, and then I'm going to have them with some marinara sauce on some spaghetti squash for dinner. And then I'm gonna be doing a late workout tonight. So this is day 18, you guys can tell I'm feeling a little bit better. My throat's still itchy, but I am feeling better. I'm also doing collagen in my coffee. I didn't think I should, I didn't show you guys that because I am a little bit on the lower side for protein today, but I can make up for it with my collagen peptides. If you guys have not used the Gage Life collagen peptides, go over to gagelife.com and invest. It will change your life. Good for your hair, your skin, your nails, your joints. I just feel better on these, they're unflavored. We have the chocolate and vanilla collagen coming out Black Friday, so don't miss out on that. And we also have our plant-based coffee bean flavored vegan collagen booster completely 100% plant-based coming out on Black Friday. So check that stuff out, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. And that's all I got for day 18. Peace. Welcome to day 19. All right, coffee and collagen time. Using my Gage Life collagen peptides. Here we go. All right, everybody. Day 19, it is Friday, I finished my cardio, and <coughs> you guys can see I am under the weather, but I am doing my best. I did not weight train last night, I was really just not feeling well, but I didn't go over my macros, I hit my macros. Like I said, I did some cardio this morning, and I wanted to just have a quick little powwow with you guys about consistency. I was talking to a client yesterday who has had remarkable progress on my program. Now, it took longer than six weeks, but what I want you guys to realize is that you don't have to be extreme, you just have to be consistent. Let me repeat that. You don't have to be extreme, you just have to be consistent. Every time you are tempted to be extreme, and when I say extreme, I mean pushing yourself with I don't know, sometimes it's a, it's, a, it's a sense of desperation where you will do anything to lose weight to the point that you'll eat in a way that's not sustainable. That's extreme. Pushing yourself to a limit that you just don't practically see yourself eating that way regularly is extreme. Likewise, saying I don't give an F, saying I'm gonna eat all the things, soothing and comforting and just eating whatever you want without thinking, without abandon, that's extreme. So anytime you take a super, super, super extreme approach, you're going to pay for it. And what I'm trying to tell you guys is those days that you are a little off track, you know, you did go over your macros, you did have the piece of cake and it didn't fit into your macros that day. Dial it back in and reset because every time you just quit, what's gonna happen is you're gonna fall further and further and further and further and further off track to the point that it's gonna take you even longer and longer and longer and longer to get back to where you are right now. So spare yourself that agony. 
Stop wasting your own time and choose something more moderate if you need to. Now, I'm all for focused, concerted efforts. There's nothing wrong with doing that um, from time to time. There's nothing wrong with pushing yourself. However, you don't have to be extreme to get results. You just have to be consistent. So for me, you know, I didn't get in all my weight training this week. I wish I did, but I'm not going to beat myself up over it because, you know, I'm not feeling well. I'm still hitting my macros. I'm getting some cardio in and I'm going to just dial it back in when I can. And for those of you who are holding yourself to a standard of perfection, you have to stop. Reality is, my friends, you don't have to be extreme. You just have to be consistent. And I love these challenges because they just keep me mindful of having a, a daily goal because without them, I struggle personally to stay on track. And this has been game changing and life changing for me personally, because like a lot of you guys, I have a tendency to do the all or nothing approach and I struggle to find the lifestyle piece. And this flexible dieting challenge that I've been doing this fall has just been absolutely amazing. So do not stress out my friends. Keep on keeping on. Happy day 19. I will see you guys on the vlog next week as we head into, it's going so fast, but yeah, next week, is next week, week three? I'm confused. So day 19. Yeah. So wow. Oh my goodness. So keep on keeping on my friends. Comment below how you're doing on the fall challenge and give this video a thumbs up. See you in the next one.